Hey guys, you're back with Welcome to the Kit. I'm Shine with Sun. Please introduce yourself. I'm Tuan Alonzo. What got you into the world of music? Uh, so I grew up with like, uh, uh, I grew up with writers. Let me think about that before I um and um a million times. Uh, I grew up with a bunch of writers. My mom has been like writing spoken word from like as long as I can remember. Uh, my dad like was like, used to rap. It was something that we kind of did as a pastime because it was like what the only time that we would. Anyways, so that's uh, how we would like go back and forth. That I grew up with. That I grew up with like um, like this guy Question around me. I grew up listening to like hip hop all the fucking time. So that's how I always been. If you weren't rapping, what would you would your career be? I'd be six feet under. What do you mean by that? It's like you wouldn't. I mean, I've already tried just doing that working shit, and it don't. I'm good. Oh, uh -huh. well, I'm sorry <laughs> to hear that. I'm good. Is there like a preferred sound that you always have like in your music? More recently, I like really fucky and weird shit and the the more like trippy it is the the, the better wow like i like listen to like um you know like doomstow early earl like just that really kind of weird sonic space that's just like fucky and you're like i don't really know what's going on but it sounds kind of fire still wow so, so like i find myself playing with like synthesizers and just hitting drums or just uh, fucking around on the piano until it sounds until it sounds wavy, man. It's just until it sounds right. I don't know. So your creative process, like, tell me about it. Do you just like get into the on your computer and you just like start like a song, or do you have to like actually? It have starts a with a toke, and then if it's followed by another toke, and then it's followed by another toke, and at some point I don't know what's going on, and it's like eight hours later. Wow, that's crazy. But like, <laughs> at some point <laughs> you good. just lose track, and you're just sitting there, and you're just like, I think this sounds good. I'll come back to it later. <laughs> um, how do you get your ideas for your pictures? Because I notice it's like very colorful. It's like different from what I'm not like normally see from artists. I like, I like lo-fi. I've always liked like lo-fi style photos, like those kind of old timey shit. I like watching like, like Pulp Fiction or like old Tarantino. Those kind of colorings, or like I really liked the coloring and like. The Joker movie and stuff, I just kind of like that kind of vintage look because I've always just liked vintage kind of older shit. So I kind of set my photos in a way to be sloppy but co kind of colorful. Like I kind of think of color wheels, I think of colors a lot. So like when, say, if you asked earlier how I create, I like create in like room with like lights and LEDs and I try to match my mood to whatever that color is. So I do the same with like clothes and with like images and pictures and shit. How do you feel right now if you're wearing blue? Chill. Chill, okay. Chill is a good mood. Then. And the black is to represent that, you know, a little closed up, but we're trying to talk right now, so the blue is like, you know, a little... <laughs> we got the glasses for the retro feel, so I can just be like... I you feel know. you. So, you know, I'm if, always just vibing, I'm always sitting in my vibe. In your vibe, okay. If you could yep. perform anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? London. Mm -hmm. I want to like do something like London show. I've uh, I, I like the scene a lot down there, especially with like crime stuff. I've kind of come across like some producers and shit. Wait, London, or, like, Ontario, or London, London maybe England? Like, in England, okay. London, England. Um, because like I, I I like I fuck with like the scene down there a lot. Like I really like Little Sims. She's like from the London area. I really like. Um, there's producer came across comedy. I listen to like some grime shit. A lot of that's London based. And then like I like the rave scenes and shit and that all that type of shit started down there, so Wow. Or Rome. I really like Rome. One of those two. That's really different. I normally people are always like, I wanna go to Japan or I wanna go like in the US. Oh, that's good. That's what I listen to. That's, that's what good. I've been where I've been at. Any Japan artists Japan would be cool. Japan would be cool. You can go afterwards you can go get some sushi, go exploring. Some real sushi, yeah. yeah. The re like the real ass sushi, not like the artificial. I, I, I mean, I would have wanted to go to Hong Kong before all that shit happened. Hong Kong's nice, I've been. It's nice. Not <laughs> anymore. Not anymore. Yeah, I've heard, I heard interesting things. Yeah, yeah. Any artists you like to collaborate with, like locally or... We got this guy, we got Cliche Gang. 
We got Amen. Cliche shit. There you go, there's him. Who else? I already got my buddy Lotau to work with KBB. I kind of already work with who I like working with. Everyone else is like cool, but I, I got I got my crew. Shout out to KB. Wait, KB. KVB Kaya by the Badar. <laughs> Shout out to her. She's cool. And then cool. we got Low Tide, which is my buddy Ian. So I do shit with them. He's guys buddy Mundo. We do the cliche shit. That's why we got cliche. Mm -hmm. I even got the show coat. off your cliche shit. Look at that. Looks so cool. I mean, we do like DIY shit and all that. You know, that's what we're always on. Just always in our own fucking vibe. So. Um, I like working with anybody that I happen to be in the room with, but I'm not always going to be looking to... If I'm in the room with you and I vibe with you, sure, let's do something. Where do you see yourself to five to ten years right now? Hopefully having some money in my pocket from the shit that we're doing right now. We're laying down the groundwork. Where can fans follow you? Uh, at Tuan Alonzo. Tuan, T-W-A-N underscore Alonzo, A-L-A-N-Z-O. That is my Instagram and my Twitter and my Facebook. Well, thank and you for my TikTok. Oh. Well, thank you for being on Welcome to the Key today. I appreciate it.